Over the past year, throughout the course of Season 6, there's been one champion who just seems like the bane of my existence. One champion whose taunts and laughs get under my skin more than any other. One singular champion who I can never understand how to beat or play against. You are a pirate! Are you are a hoi in the past! Take it, 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 take the mast! You are a pirate! Gangplank, I swear, this son of a bitch is hell to play versus. I'll be doing my thing as Aurelia, going and trying to make cool plays happen for some streams or videos, pulling off what I can to help my team win. But you cannot shut down a Gangplank no matter what you do, it feels like. He will get killed somewhere, he will BM you, and he will crit you for 1k damage late game. Nothing I ever do seems to slow him down. If I try and go aggressive to punish his weak laning phase, he eats oranges and everything's okay. I'm never able to kill him. I'll out farm him slightly, but never enough to prevent his insane late game. If I try and not be so focused on lane and instead work on killing people elsewhere on the map, like let's say the enemy AD carry is snowballing and I want to help bot lane stop him, Gangplank will just ult any team fight, winning it for his team while simultaneously getting to AFK farm a free lane. No matter what I do, I can't seem to wrap my head around beating this champion. So today, we are going to ascribe to the belief if you can't beat him, join him, and play a game of Gangplank here at the end of the season. That's right, we're pulling a Kevin Durant here. I know Gangplank isn't the best champion at the moment right now, but I feel like it's appropriate that I win one game with him. He was such a huge influential champion in Season 6, and I am just 0 for 3 in ranked. I never really bothered trying to learn him, so I feel like I should try and see if I can get one win. I have not been doing the best lately in ranked. We are at Diamond 514 LP with about Platinum 2 MMR, so the game should be pretty easy and hopefully we'll have an opportunity to win it, but I'm just gonna play one game today. I don't want to lose it and then play another and lose it and get demoted out of Diamond at the end of the season. There's about 26 hours left in Season 6. We're not doing that. But anyway, let's go ahead and hop into game. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know too much about the matchups that Gangplank plays in, but we are getting to pick him after the enemy Riven goes top lane, and they don't really have the best team composition. They don't have a tank yet. That could change with their support pick. We have an Olaf. We have a Gangplank, who has been very, very annoying this season. Hopefully I can play him right. As annoying as he's been throughout this season, he's actually not that good right now. Let's... <laughs> Oh god, I want to win this. Happy day before election day, by the way, my fellow Americans. Make sure you guys all go out and vote tomorrow. You know, I'm not entirely sure if this is a good or bad way to kind of fix some of the problems I have as a player, but I am of the belief that playing champions that force me to play in a different kind of playstyle is good for me. Gangplank, as is my understanding, is the perfect example of that. Someone that I should not just look to always go ham. Come on, Jibe, put your pirate face on. Let's do some farming. Oh, I'm already out of mana. Maybe I shouldn't have been spamming Q so much when it's only a level one. I mean, I'm only a level three. This, eh, maybe it wasn't the best idea. Uh-oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. I didn't even... How did you get behind me, Evelyn? What? Okay, okay, that level of aggression is not something I expected, and I was not able to right-click my barrel, apparently, so we're starting off a little bit behind, but everything is gonna be A-OK. -okay. Interesting how aggressive Ruben is going. I still have my heal. Oh, that's why! Hang on, can I bait? Ah, uh, okay, well, we got a flash, and apparently Evelyn's ganking top lane. That's good for us to know. I have my all chat turned off right now, so I don't know. Maybe she's a viewer. Maybe she's a jerk. I don't know. Let's try and, let's try and survive this camp. Oh, she's in that bush, isn't she? This Riven keeps on hovering around this bush. Careful, Olaf. That Evelyn is in that bush. That's why she's running into it right now. I'm telling you. They, yep, there it is. Uh, let me exhaust and not fucking land anything. How do I keep on not hitting my barrel? Oh. 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 Ah, uh, I didn't get the heal off in time, and she lives. But that's a one-for-one one trade if you don't count the Olaf death from earlier, so I guess we're slightly making progress. This Evelyn's definitely camping my lane, but it's not like the first time I've had to deal with this in League of Legends. Interesting. Let's just flash and be careful. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have flashed. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have flashed. I don't know. What the fuck? I don't know what I'm doing, man. I don't... I, I didn't expect to have to go up against the 4 0 Raven because. You know what, GB? It's fine. It's fine. Pa just focus. Pay attention. Focus. It's not fine. Maybe this is just me being too aggressive. Or. I, I don't know. Like, eh, this is the thing that is always annoying about Gangplank players, right? You can never actually kill them because they just play so passively. And. Maybe my problem is I'm not actually playing passively. What is she doing? Oh, Olaf, please. Please punish. 
Ah, uh, I did. Uh, that was not a far enough forward ulti. But we got her. Okay. Hey! We actually got a kill. Oh, no, no! You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> that brings us to 2-4-0 by the 12-minute mark. We do kind of have more than 50% of our team's deaths, but we also have 66% of our team's kills. Yeah, I think we all know where this game is going. Despite the attempt at a positive outlook, I was not able to turn this mid-game around. Olaf would come top lane for a few attempted ganks to shut down this Riven, but we were never able to get a kill on her. And for every gank Olaf came top lane, there were two Evelyn ganks following right ahead that were twice as successful each time to a point where it really started getting under my skin. I'm actually getting so sick of getting camped, especially in a game like this where I'm already on Gangplank and I haven't been able to win a game with him. Every once in a while, we did have an exciting moment where things might turn around. Gangplank is a late game champion and I was starting to play him well. Oh my God, and I triple barreled. That's the first time I've ever actually managed to pull it off and I'm dead. But we actually did something right and we, okay, we actually do get rewarded for it. I thought we didn't get a kill there for a second, but in the end, it wasn't enough, and I was faced with a pretty difficult decision. The frustrating thing is I would have beaten this Riven so hard as Aurelia, too. Oh, God. Don't do it, Jibei. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You, I know you hate ending videos on a loss, but don't do it. Do what you want, because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Ship to when the wind from southwest boys we hove our ship to deep soundings to take first forty five fathoms for the white sandy bottom so we squared our main yard and up channel we'll rant and we'll roar like true British sailors we'll rant and we'll roar all on the salt seas until we strike soundings in the channel of old England all you shanty silly it's thirty land we sighted was called the Dodman. Next rain had off Plymouth, off Portsmouth the Whites. We sailed by Beachy, by Fairlight and Dover, and then we bore up for the South and Lights. We did it, boys. Oh my god, we actually did it. Hey, I actually got an S on Gangplank too. Oh my goodness. 10, 9, and 12. Not the best score. A good enough score to get an S, apparently. There we go. I actually managed to do a good game well played. You can see we're actually at 43 LP because I had to play two games because Gangplank was banned in two games. That, um, oh, that, that was actually a little bit frustrating. I guess it gave us a little bit of a cushion on LP. But there we go. 20% win ratio, 1 in 4. Oh my goodness. I need to learn how to play better while commentating again. I have lost that skill. Anyway, though, I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video. I'll see you all next season, but until until then, thank you very much for watching, good luck in solo queue, and have a wonderful day.